The beautifully intricate painting Jewess with Oranges was created by Alexander Gamsky during the years 1880 to 1881. It is created by using oil paints on a canvas. The painting encapsulates a Jewish woman who is a shopkeeper. Her appearance shows the viewer that she is not a very wealthy woman. She is also clothed in grungy and raggedy cloth. Due to the time period, the artist depicted her as an elderly and depressed woman living in Warsaw. She is holding a basket of fruits, which is oranges, and the oranges, with their color bringing a symbol of hope and joy to the work. The painting as a whole is daunting and dreary, however, the oranges are vivid and full of life. Everything that is created has a certain origin, and artwork has both a spiritual and historical background. Each piece should be respected as such, not passed around as those stolen during World War II were. The history of the painting revolves around World War II. The war lasted from 1939 to 1945, and the war broke out between two groups, the Allies and the Axis. During the war, the Holocaust occurred. Hitler was in power over Germany when he terrorized and murdered the multitude of innocent Jews. This horrible occurrence was from the years 1941 to 1945. Due to the origin of the artwork being in Warsaw, Poland, they desired for it to be returned. Unfortunately, the artwork was stolen during World War II, so the painting was originally located in an antique store, Domstuki, in Warsaw. Then, during the war, Nazi Germany soldiers broke into the shop and ripped the painting from it. The art piece disappeared and did not reappear until the year 2010. The artwork resurfaced inside of a market filled with antiques located in northern Germany. The Ministry of Culture and National Heritage of Poland commenced in a deal to have the artwork returned to its rightful home in Poland. It was not until the year 2011 that the art piece was reinstated in Poland. The Polish PZU Foundation had to pay the current German owner for the piece, which the amount was never even released. It is currently stated in the National Museum in Warsaw, Poland. There is an ethical and moral right to the ownership of every piece of artwork that is created. If a piece is created for a certain reason, then that reasoning should be respected, and the proper owners should have the chance to appreciate the art in their own individual ways. I am a studio art major, and I know how important art pieces are to those that make them. Whether it's a painting, a drawing, or a sculpture, it doesn't even matter what medium they use, it's just that each piece is created uniquely and has a background that is personal to the artist. There are multiple reasons to create, and when an artwork is ripped from the artist and the rightful owners, it degrades the meaning and symbols behind each work. Stealing art that has such a meaning and symbolic history only adds to how important it is to protect such valuable items. If you had something that you cherish and had a significant meaning to you, it was immorally ripped from you, it would just cause devastation. When an artwork is hidden away, no one is able to view it. But then once the artwork is on display, anyone is able to observe it and they can study the piece and gain the knowledge about the origin and each symbol behind it. An artist creates for a reason, and when others are allowed to view it, they can possibly be transported to the time that the artist made the work. They can view the piece from their eyes as well. Placing yourself in the life of the artist and the subject can feel the emotions and weight that each piece carries within it. There is a statistic showing the estimated amount of money and percentage of cultural heritage that was stolen from Poland during the war. And it is about $20 billion worth, or 43%, of the Polish cultural heritage. It is estimated that over 516,000 individual pieces were looted. That's including about 2,800 paintings by Europeans and about 11,000 by Polish painters. There's also recordings of sculptures, manuscripts, maps, books, and prints, all stolen as well. Of course, Poland wasn't the only place that took a detrimental amount of damage to their culture. The Nazis also destroyed places such as Munich and Paris, stealing their work. All that artwork was unmornedly and illegally stolen, and it left those places that originated from heartbroken and defeated. Restoring what is truthfully theirs is the only way to make what occurred somewhat better. However, the toll that the looting affected them, each artist and owner will never completely heal from.